Good morning. It's uh, January the 16th, 2019. I am uh, just on patrol, checking out some of our uh, properties. We had about a centimeter of snow last night, so it's not enough to really plow or anything, but it's enough to make me have to go out and salt. So, um, not too concerned about some of the properties just because um, they're usually a five centimeter trigger. But uh, we have some gas stations and hotel that we look after. So I've got uh, I've got my other guy Nick out right now. He's uh, salting. I was out last night pre-salted. And let me tell you, I think pre-salting really helps because all of my properties are basically clear right now. But you drive around and you look at some of the other ones and some of the guys are just getting out salting right now. And uh, you can, you know, their properties have snow on them and mine are pretty clear. Um, that being said, doesn't matter what you do. I don't care how much you salt, how much you sand, and how much time you spend on properties, somebody doesn't know how to walk in the winter time and they end up slipping and falling. And then next thing you know, you're getting a phone call from the property owner saying, oh, you know, um, somebody fell down and uh, we're not sure what's gonna happen. But, you know, the thing is, like I said, it doesn't matter what you do or how much you, time you spend. Like, you can't be on site 24-7. So, therefore, very, 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 very important to make sure your logs are done well. Because, ultimately, that's going to be the difference on whether you're at fault or not. Because, you know, um, in the past... Like nobody's perfect nobody can do the perfect job you know and I, I pride myself on what I do and you know I, I try to do the best job I can but ultimately it doesn't matter what you do somebody is gonna fall down and the first person they point the finger to is the contractor and uh, I personally blame not so much the insurance companies but I, I blame lawyers because um, first thing they say is you know you we don't get paid till you get paid and they take clients on right away therefore it leaves it open for somebody to just purposely go out and fall down and then all of a sudden it's well the contractors at fault well no people don't know how to walk in the winter time people wear running shoes and sneakers and whatever else they don't wear the proper footwear for walking in winter conditions and you know I'm, I'm in kind of a city type setting where I am so a lot of the customers expect that the pavement is wet and you know melting when they get on site which is fine you know because that's that's what they pay for and we charge extra for that so you know you you have to you have to kind of have that in your contract how you're gonna service it when you're gonna service it how much snow is gonna be on the ground when you're gonna start servicing all that all that good stuff and you know so far my contract is pretty good I think um, I've taken a lot of um, different things off of the internet and you know talking to people and saying hey what should I have in my contract this and that so over the past seven years eight years that I've been working for myself doing this I've <clears throat> I've kind of uh, got a pretty good contract although I I think it probably could be better at some points too because you know as you go into it you find things that you probably could have said oh you know what if I put this in my contract this will protect me for this sort of thing and you know it's it really comes down to you have a job to do you know 
and people need to understand that we're when you're doing snow removal it's not an easy job I mean it can be at some time sure it can be easy and you know I'm not gonna say fun because for me when I'm out in the middle of the winter in the middle of the night driving around servicing properties I have time to think about what I'm doing you know time to think about what I want to do tomorrow whatever whatever so it's kind of kind of my calm place you know where when you're at home and you know there's things going on around you you can't think and whatever what else whatever whatever goes on during the day you can't think about stuff so